Well, meantime, Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky is set to visit the White House tomorrow. The trip comes at a crucial time. Many Republicans in Congress are holding up funding for the war in Ukraine because they want policy changes at the southern border. Weijia Jiang is at the White House with more. Weijia, good morning. Good morning. Those talks are not looking good. The White House says that Zelensky visit is meant to underscore the United States' unshakable commitment to supporting the people of Ukraine as Russia ramps up its missile and drone strikes. Zelensky will also head over to Capitol Hill with plans to address all senators and meet with Speaker of the House Mike Johnson. Republicans argue it is the White House that opened the door to having this debate over immigration right now because it was President Biden who bundled funding for border security with Ukraine funding in a $110 billion package to boost national security. The proposal would include more than $60 billion for Ukraine and $14 billion in aid to Israel. So what does Ukraine have to do with U.S. national security? Administration officials are stressing that if Putin wins this war, Russia could invade neighboring NATO allies, which would drag U.S. troops into a broader conflict. The White House warns that money for Ukraine must be approved by the end of this year, or the U.S. may have to stop sending weapons. Anne-Marie. All right, Ouija, thank you.